Let's do some trader talk now with Alan Nuckman, the pro trader and chief market strategist at Paradigm. Alan, the stock market dropped to a new bear market low this week. Hello, Angie. Some new lows. Now let's see where we go. Alan, what would you say is the theme in the stock market? All right, it's all about rates, rates, rates. The reality is they're still historically super low. And oil's now under 80, which is 30% off the summer fun. So the negative sentiment and psychology outweigh the facts for me. Tell us about your new trade. It's in a Chinese real estate stock that just might benefit from the possibility of a bailout in China. All right, this week's trade trigger, B-E-K-E, Beaky Holdings. So it's a stock that's been stuck between 13 and 19 for the last three months. So breakout targets 25, where it was in November. This is a stock that's been strong. It's made a bottom base. Now it had a series of higher lows and lower highs, and it's above the 200 day moving average. In the bigger picture, it's been trading between 10 and 20 for six months. So a breakout of that targets to even a higher level of 30. But for me, importantly, the midpoint's at 15. So that's a super support to lean on, the midpoint of this sideways range. So the way to play here is an April 12 and a half call. Yes, April. April gives us plenty of time, six months of time, and it's actually only $75 more expensive than the January option. So twice the time, just a little bit more. So always buy more time than you need. So this example here, the 12 and a half call is obviously deep in the money and below that midpoint and also below that 13 level where we've been here for the last three months. So what I'm looking for is a modest move in the stock. Now, if it moves up to that 25 level, which is that modest breakout uh, target here, that option more than doubles in value. And most importantly, this is deep in the money. This, with the stock at 17, the options trading about six or so, uh, it's four dollars and fifty cents in the money. So what that means is the expiration break even is a dollar fifty higher with six months of time. How about your trading day takeaways? All right, trading takeaway number one: test and reject. New 52-week lows in the S&P is important to see how we react from here. The bounce from now. We'll see we were oversold and the risk reward was on the bull side. Number two, bullish divergence. Same as the June boom. Let's remember the market when it bottomed in June rallied 20% and the VIX is nowhere near the highs that we've seen for the year. It's actually 20% off the top as well. So these are positives technically. Let's see how the market reacts. And number three, step in the right direction, a baby step. The earnings in two weeks could be a catalyst for market movement, and the expectations are near none with a 3% growth in earnings. Again, growth in earnings, I want to stress. Now, that's easy to overcome. So let's see how stocks act. Sometimes a baby step is all you need. Have a great trading day, Alan. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.